Hello, welcome to Paper Crafting with Rebecca. My name's Rebecca. Today I am just doing a quick, really quick run through of my August entry to Kinder's Card Challenge number 11. And I, you've seen videos, if you've been here before, of Kinder's Card Challenge. I'm on her video design team. And I just wanted to show you the cards that I'm entering. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it, other than to say that the contest dates are July 1st to September 30th. So you still have time to enter some cards if you would like to. You just basically take six pieces of 6x6 six six paper. You cut it using the uh, patterns that she gives you to use. Um, I make up 15 little card kits and then I just put them all together. So let's see what I put together for August. Now my goal with using the very kind of boring <laughs> patterned paper for August was that I wanted to make some, you know, cards that weren't gender specific, just kind of fun, all occasion sort of cards. And so that's what I did. So let's look at card number one right here is just a very simple happy birthday card but it still has a little bit of bling and sparkle using you know paper a and paper b in there um it did a little bit of, of heat embossing around the edges to help make those pop up a little bit and then just some baker's twine for for the uh, bow part and the sentiment by the way is from colorado craft company that stamp right there and um, Colorado Craft Company has donated a prize for the uh, Kinder's Card Challenge. So, you know, if you enter the challenge, you might win their stamp. So that was really cool. So there's card sketch number one. Card sketch number two here has these pieces here where I've put them. I also did some folder embossing for the background to bring the background some polka dotty uh, spots there. Um, again, the image is a Colorado Craft Company stamp that I then colored in and their sentiment that I put along the bottom. Just kind of a, now you're cooking, sort of stamp. I needed a thank you card that I thought would be very simple. This again is just a very simple thank you card. Again, I used the uh, folder to add those polka dots to the solid white layer there. Um, this is popped up on foam tape so that it gives a little bit more dimension. Just a real simple, can easily be sent to a man um, sort of thank you card. For this one right here, I did a congratulations card. Again, uh, non-gender specific. It can go to a guy or a girl. Um, this has got the uh, dots a little bit larger here. I used a larger polka dot uh, as far as an embossing folder and then the smaller embossing folder polka dots right here and just made a congratulations for anything. I haven't made it specific for congratulations on your new home or your new job or anything. Just congratulations right now. This one, one, two, three, four, card number five is, um, it's at any shape. So here's what I did with my papers. I used some leftover white diamond dots to add onto these white polka dots every once in a while just to give it some texture and shine. I used the um, Colorado Craft Company stamp right here to uh, for the image and then just colored it in with some um, alcohol markers and that is life is good. Just an all occasion, I'm thinking of you sort of card to send out. Okay, for this one, number six, it's this one. So here's all those fishtail pieces right here. And then I just um, had this, I had this card that I cut, I die cut the uh, piece out of here and just added that to it. I thought that would just be a nice all occasion sort of card. And I've added some uh, bling down here. Again, used my uh, embossing folder to get those polka dots onto that white. And this is raised up on uh, foam tape a little bit. So there's that one. Okay, next. Card number seven. 
uh, pretty much kept it simple. Did a little bit of, um, I got my folder again, that, that embossing folder with the polka dots. Got a lot of work out for this set of cards. The two pieces, paper A and paper B right here. And then I just had some pattern paper I put in there. I added a flower and just, I'm happiest when I'm with you sentiment on there. And that just, I think, makes a nice little note card to send to somebody and let them know I'm thinking about them. Okay, card number eight right here. Taking those pieces, folding them back. I put them on a black mat and I added some little pearls, pink pearls on here. The um, little dancing is right here. This is stamp and I just colored it in and added that to the uh, front of the card. Make today count. Just a nice little card. For this one right here, of course, I had to make a shaker card. Um, <laughs> me and my shaker cards. And so that's what I did for right here. And the stamp set is, again, the Colorado Craft Company stamp set. And it's just as a happy birthday card. I thought it'd be a lot of fun just to have them dancing and cooking. And um, that would be really good to send, I think, to the guy in your life who likes to cook you know, like the Sunday morning breakfast for the kids. And so uh, there you go. That's that one. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Card number 11 is this one, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, it's this one. And so here we go. Oh, you know what? This one, okay, I see what I did. I messed up here. Seven, eight, nine. This is number nine. This one is number nine. Skip number 10 here. Number 10 is this one. This one, I took it a whole different direction as far as the color scheme. I still had the two pieces that were cut from the original six by six with polka dots. But as you see, I went with a lot brighter. This one is a little bit more feminine sort of thing. The happy birthday, however, is still from this stamp set. Um, from Colorado Craft Company, and then I just added these little three dots right here are from some Dollar Tree stickers, and I've added some, I don't know if it shows, but the, I did a lot of shimmer pin in different spots to give it a bit of a sparkle. So it's just kind of a really easy birthday card. Okay, so then that brings us to card number 11, which is this one. Again, I used my embossing folder. I just used some um, embossing thread right here for this bow. Um, this is just a stamp, I, old stamp I have. Your kind heart makes me happy. Um, here, this is on top of that piece of, of paper D. What I did was I used a rub-on transfer. I love rub-ons. And I put that on there. And then this butterfly, I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's a little plastic uh, butterfly that is just put on there. Um, and I just think it's sweet. Just adds a little bit of interest and texture and it goes with the flowers really nice. So that's that's what that is right there. Okay, so that's number now for number 12 is this one right here. And again, I used, uh, the stamp is from Colorado Craft Company. It's this little couple right here and the saying is from, the sentiment is right here in the same stamp set. And um, I just colored in the little guys there and uh, thought that was a sweet card. Okay. Card number 13. If you've been following me, you've, you've probably seen this one because 13 is my favorite sketch. And I used this in the hop. Um, but this one is just, again, using that same paper. It's using the Colorado Craft Company. I took the little uh, dancing kittens and stamped them without the spatula there. And so as they're just dancing, saying happy birthday. And, and uh, again, I think this, you know, doesn't have to go to a guy or a girl. It could go to anyone. Okay. And this one, card number 14, lightened it up a little bit with a, uh, yellow background um thanks for being you with the ribbon on there some sequins right here and then my papers that are here here and here 
So that is card number 14. And lastly, for card number 15, it says any two and a half to three inch shape. So what I did with this one was I have my papers on there. And then these are pressed flowers. These are real pressed flowers on there. I need to kind of fix that. It's kind of bumpy, doesn't it? Um, anyway, pressed flowers on there. And then this one, there's some mixed media. I don't know if it shows up, but I did these little polka dots because I wanted to bring these polka dots out. So I had a stencil and I did them with just a clear, I don't know if that's showing up, with a clear um, glittery uh, paste. And um, I think it's eye zinc is what the brand is. But anyway, I just added that on there. It's just kind of a mixed media background with the pressed flowers making card number 15. So that is my cards for this uh, month of August for Kinder's Card Challenge 11. If you want to enter, if you want to see all the information about it and where to get the cutting uh, sketches and the, everything that you need, check my description below. Or you can do hashtag KCC11 and um, on YouTube, and that will also take you to a whole bunch of information for how to enter. Kindred has great instructional videos, and she tells you about the prizes that you can win and all of that. So anyway, thank you so much for this quick run-through of my cards. I hope you found them interesting. I hope you found them inspirational. If you'd like to join in, I hope it gave you some ideas of things you might want to make. So at any rate, happy paper crafting! Mm -hmm.